So let's say if you're given two graphs, two linear equations, how can you go about finding the point of intersection? What do you think we need to do? Now there's two ways in which we can do so. The first method is simply to graph both linear equations and see where they intersect. The other one is to solve this as a system of equations and get x and y and that will be the point of intersection. We're going to use both methods to confirm our answer. But first, let's solve it as a system of equations. So right now, we know that y is equal to 3 over 2x minus 5. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and substitute it into y in the second equation. So in the second equation, we're going to have 3x. But instead of 4y, it's going to be 4 times 3 over 2x minus 5 equal 8. So let's distribute the 4. What is negative 4 times 3 over 2? 4 times 3 is 12. 12 divided by 2 is 6. Now, negative 4 times negative 5, that's positive 20. So now let's combine like terms. 3x minus 6x is negative 3x. Our next step is to subtract both sides by 20. So we're going to get negative 3x is equal to 8 minus 20, which is negative 12. Now let's divide both sides by negative 3. Negative 12 divided by negative 3 is positive 4. So we have the x coordinate of the point of intersection. Now our next step is to determine the y coordinate. So let's plug in x into that equation. So y is going to be 3 over 2 times 4 minus 5. 3 times 4 is 12. 12 divided by 2 is 6. And 6 minus 5 is 1. So y is equal to 1. So we can write the point as 4 comma 1. So this right here is the point of intersection. Now what we're going to do is we're going to confirm this answer graphically. Now before we do so, this equation is in standard form. It's in ax plus by equals c format. And it's better if we convert it to slope intercept form, which is in y equals mx plus b format. So let's isolate y in that equation. So first I'm going to rewrite it. I'm going to move the negative 4y from the left side to the right side. On the left side, it's negative, but on the right side, it's going to be positive. Now I'm going to take the 8, move it to this side. 8 is positive on the right, but it's going to be negative on the left. Now to get y by itself, I'm going to divide every term by 4. So it's 3 over 4x, 8 divided by 4 is 2, and that's equal to y. So basically, we can write it as y is equal to 3 over 4x minus 2. It's very straightforward graphing a linear equation that's in slope-intercept form. And so that's why I wanted to put it in that format. So let's begin by plotting this one. So let's start with the y-intercept. The y-intercept is negative 5. So the first point is going to be 0, negative 5. Now we're going to use the slope to get the next point. So we're going to go up 3 units over 2. So that will give us this point here. And then let's do it one more time. Let's go up 3 units over 2. So that will give us the point 4, 1. So at this point, we can basically connect it with a line. Now, let's plot the second equation. So the y-intercept is negative 2. And then let's use the slope 3 over 4 to get the next point. So let's go up 3 over 4. So that's going to take us to the point 4, 1. 
So we can clearly see that it's the point of intersection. So that's another way in which you can basically graph or find the point of intersection. You can solve by substitution as a system of equations, or you can just graph it and find the point of intersection. Thanks for watching.